today I would like to investigate uh, using waste oil in the heater again. Now, we did the experiment where we put pure, unfiltered, untouched, straight out an engine, or rather straight out a sump, waste oil into diesel heater and set it running. And the results were, it did run, it did burn, but it left the burn chamber in a horrible mess and a lot of horrible tar and black stuff came out of the exhaust. Now, people keep commenting on that video, oh, you need to filter it and thin it with diesel and this and that and the other thing. That wasn't the point of that experiment. That The point of that test was to put straight engine oil in and see what happened. So now, in this series of experiments, we're going to do all the other things. So, I have purchased three spare two kilowatt burn chambers. There's a brand new one, obviously, in the heater just now. It's only ever run on diesel. So my setup is, we have the afterburner that's going to do the controlling. So it's easy to change the settings for the tune. I've got my little two kilowatt here up there. We've got our fuel tank, which has currently got a little drop of diesel in it which I will empty out and replace with the waste oil. I've also got the uh, TPI DC710, we'll put that, well, the exhaust outside, so I'll run that outside and then obviously it's wireless so I can come back in and tune it while that's being outside. And the plan is that we'll put the waste engine oil in there and then run it, tune it and then let it run until it runs out however much like half a tank of fuel. I'll let that run, then we'll take the diesel heater apart and we'll see what the insides are like. So for the first test, we're going to take waste engine oil out of the Hilux and I'm going to filter it. That is all, it's just going to be filtered and then we'll put it in here. So now cut to previous me doing, I'll show you the filter setup and me filtering it now. Okay, this is the filter setup, or my filter setup. 12 volt gear pump for oil transfer, etc, etc. A drum of uh, engine oil. One thing to note is, this is engine oil out of my Hilux, so it only does like 6,000 miles a year, because it's oil changed every year. And this is already, I think it's 5W30 or 10W30 oil, so it's already really, really thin. So it doesn't really matter what temperature it's at, it's already really thin. If you're using a really thick, or a nasty, nasty, heavily soiled oil, you're probably going to have to heat it up quite a bit to get it to actually pump and go through the filter. Now, I'm going to change the filter. I'm going to put a brand new cartridge in the filter. If you leave the plastic on them, they last much, much longer. That is a joke, by the way. Do not leave the plastic on. If you leave the plastic on, no filtering will occur. I think this is a 5 micron. Fairly sure it's a 5 I bought. 5 microns. So if we take the old one out, trying not to create an environmental disaster in the process. Take the old filter out. And put that in the bin. Put the new filter in place. And then attempt to reassemble the whole thing. Am I even screwing it the right way? Yes. It's supposed to be hand tight, but I'll just give it a wee, a wee nip just to make sure it fully seals. Now the filter housing I've got here does have a pressure gauge and the theory is that when the filter itself becomes clogged, the pressure in here gets higher because obviously it's having to now push harder to go through and that kind of lets you, let, lets you know when your filter needs changing. Right, I've got my crappy battery here. Let me just check, pipe in there, pipe going out, pipe going in. You don't want to make that mistake because it makes a hell of a mess. If I connect them on there, and then I can turn it on. And we're off. I'm now going to leave that filtering. Well, for a while at least anyway. 
or until the battery's flat, whichever happens first. Right, so, let me, right, now this is gonna make a mess and I'm gonna have to make space, so I'm gonna empty the diesel out of that tank and fill it half up with the now filtered waste engine oil and I'll bring you back then. Right, I have, well, a third, slightly more than a third worth of fuel in there, it won't matter because we're gonna use the afterburner to track how much fuel we use anyway. Uh, right, so uh, here's the afterburner app and it's running. So if we go into system information, we can reset the fuel usage. Reset that to zero. So I've already set the fuel pump. Is that in tuning? Or where is it? Here settings tuning? No, it's one of these. Where is it? Where is it? System information? That's the one you were just in, David. Oh, I swear, oh, it's a scene or somewhere. Thermostat sense? No. Detailed status. How come you can't find it when you're looking for it? I'm trying to find the bit where it shows you the fuel pump size. Because I've set it. I've set it to 16. For all those uh, who are shouting at me right now as to where it is in the settings, please, please shout louder. I swear to God it's in here somewhere. I am losing my marbles. Okay. Why can I not find... Right, that's the tuning bit. I, sw I swear, I swear to God there's a bit where you can tell what size fuel pump it is and I've already done it. I've told it's a 16. So just take my word for it that we're on uh, the correct size fuel pump. Now let's go back to detailed status controls. Right, so the only diesel that is in the set setup at the moment is whatever is left in the little bit of standpipe up to the pump. So let us fire up. Right, it'll fire up. Starting, turn the heater on. Smash. So that's going to start and run. Started. Yes, thanks very much. What I'll do Engine now, yes, yes, is go outside with the uh, TPI, stick that to the wall outside, stick the probe up the exhaust, and then come back in. And then we can tune the heater. So I'll let that run and do, and I'll go outside and get wet. Thanks. Right, where were we? Woo. I apologise, but it's uh, raining out there. Right, so right now, the heater is firing up. Glow plug still glowing, smashing, good. Kind of hoping to see the fuel change colour soon. So on diesel, I had this uh, heater tuned to about 10 uh, parts per million of carbon monoxide on the uh, gas analyzer. It's going to take a little bit of running to get the uh, waste, waste engine off through. Right, changer. go. Right, we're off. Pump is pumping. Lovely. Hot air is hot airing. Right, now if I switch the app to the TPI, hopefully there's there is. Start the pump. Granted at the moment you can see that it's the parts per million is quite high, but it's also not up to temperature yet properly. So here we go, there is the well oh, actually can you see waste oil starting to come through now. Still got to get all the way up through here and actually end the heater. But hopefully the diesel in it will give enough time to get up and running. Okay, we are now fully running on the waste oil and the parts per million 
It's not terrible. I mean, it's uh, high thirties. That's not. It's not that bad, to be fair. I mean, it's pretty close. Body temperature is just ticking over the hundreds, but as I say, it's not particularly warm in here, so it's going to have a hard job keeping the high body temperature. So we're more interested in the carbon monoxide. So 30, 30, 30. Do you know what I need? I need another phone. 35, right, let's take a little bit of fueling now, but just a little bit of fueling. A little. Not that one. Uh, tuning. So we'll take it down to, let's say, three. So we'll take the pump rate down to three. And it's actually at 2.9, so we'll see what that's like and see if that makes it better or worse. That made it worse. So we need... No, let's just give it a minute to settle. Right, so we need more fuel. Okay, so that made it worse. So let's try 3.8. Apply that. And we'll wait for the... So that's at 3.6. Now we'll wait for it to heat back up again and hopefully the parts per million will come back down again. Right, let's try going the other way a little bit more just to see if it just needs a little bit more fuel. We're all, it's all experimenting here. So we'll just make that four. Four, apply that. I mean that's sixty. So let's let's just go back and try three and a half again. Back to the way it was before. Just in case that actually was the sweet spot. Right, I'm probably going to call it three and a half, but just purely, purely out of curiosity, I'm going to put it to four and a half and see what happens. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Right, three and a half it is. Yes, yeah, so that was too much, so we'll take it by down to three and a half. And watch the parts per million drop down to a sensible level. Right. Call that good. So we've got here running, nice hot air output. All set in, all's nice and, and because I've got uh, the afterburner running an MQTT, I can check it from wherever I'm at, if I'm out and about, because that might take a few days to uh, run through. I'm not liking the spikes in parts per million. We had that running nice at three and a half. The very might just be getting to like thick bits in the oil. Not thick, but you know what I mean. Different parts. Right, I'm gonna play with this for a little while and see if I can get it any better and Next time we come back, we'll take the heater apart and see what it's like inside. Well, it is the next day and the heater has flamed out. Uh, it looks like it's gone through uh, about half. Uh, the afterburner app says it's used, or the app says it's used like 2.29 litres of fuel it went through. So 2.3 litres and then it has flamed out during the night. So, didn't run out of fuel, so I guess we're going to have to take it apart now. Right, uh, I'll bring you back once I've got it down here and in sort of more bits. Right, everything's unplugged and unscrewed and we're just about to take the burner motor off. Hopefully. There's my little screwdriver.
Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I see why it flamed out. Uh, okay, all right, so, and you see, uh, if I got a torch, a torch would be nice, torch please. Until I let you peer down inside there. So, it flamed out because, uh, uh, you see, it's full of shite basically in there. Ugh, yuck. Well, that's kind of expected. Uh, I'm going to turn the light off there. Can you see the sort of the white ash here as well? The, oh, it makes a noise. Let me, let me hear this. The gritty white noise, the white, the concrete kind of type stuff. But the, the worst bit is obviously it's plugged up the burn chamber at the back there and it's gone out. Okay. The inside of the heater is not actually too bad. There's a little bit of residue down at the back at the bottom there, but... It's not terrible. I mean, I imagine it would be a lot worse had it kept going, but... Right, okay, so we can... I'm going to scrape that out to the bottom at the back there. It is a little bit dense. Right, so for this video, we have tested, uh, basically, filtered uh, oil. And obviously, this is the bit people... Maybe they don't know. It's not so much that they don't understand, but they don't know that... Oil, if you buy a jug of oil, brand new, it already contains additives and uh, heavy metals and things. And that's what actually gives it special lubricative properties and other sort of cleaning and other things. And engine oil is specifically designed not to burn, because otherwise it would burn readily and easily in your engine and you'd be topping up the oil a lot more. So it's, li it's literally designed to not burn, is to resist burning. So... I mean, it does burn. You, that's waste. Uh, oil burners exist, and fuel pumps, things like that. People worry about the fuel pump, but unless there's actually uh, significantly sized bits of grit that are going to jam the fuel pump, again, it's it's engine oil. It's it's lubricating. It's going to run away quite happily. So usually the pump's not the problem. It's the buildup of residue. So we've seen that pure, not well, pure, pure filtered oil runs better but not significantly better than unfiltered engine oil uh, for that so in the next video obviously we're going to take the same filtered oil and we're going to dilute it with diesel and see how that runs but that's for the next video so any comments questions anything like that leave them down below i'll try my very best to answer them and thanks for watching